And a meantime, internally displaced persons at the Durumi area one camp joined other Muslims to celebrate this year's Idikabi with plenty of food items to mark the day. Despite the food items, they lament poor access to health care delivery and wants the federal government to pay close attention to health services. Our correspondent visited the camp and filed in this report. Hundreds of villagers deserted their boats in the northeast Nigeria. Following the insurgency, they ravaged the area, leaving many displaced and settled in camps across the FCT. During the area one in the federal capital territory is one of them. <laughs> This year's Idokabi festivity is actually putting smiles on the faces of these IDPs with well many Nigerians reaching out to them. To buy clothes, buy shoes, buy like hijab, something like this. Day before yesterday, they are bringing two cows. FRA's training school, they are bringing cow for us. Food to eat. There is some. There is some uh, foundation and uh, some different organization to come and visit us and bring some um, uh, food items. Hadiza Ali is a mother of eight children who fled Goza community in Bruno State as a result of the insurgency. She lost her husband to bandit attack. She narrated her ordeal to me. Yes, I'm so happy. Even yes. though I likely to go back, bet them burn my house. Presently now I'm a widow, they, they burn my house, they kill my husband, I, and, and I have eight children presently now with me. Um, eight. And my work is a volunteer delivering in our clinic here. It is like an organization or foundation to come and help us. They give us 5K or 10K for soap. Hadiza and me learned a lot of skills acquisition and in return coaches younger ones to learn how to sell. She is worried that despite the maternity clinic, the building lacks equipment to cater for the IDPs. The majority of uh, the helps is from individual people and NYC, especially like you. We didn't have drugs and different equipment. Mr. Idris Ibrahim lamented that the federal government is also not doing enough to assist victims. He said after the festive period, life goes back to normal. In the IDBs in Nigeria, because 95% or 100% of what we eat or what we wear comes from the individuals and the NGOs. Inside town, it's okay, you know, any wala or problem a part of the uh, Boko Haram insurgency. While the majority of the elites are in their comfort zone celebrating the festive period, these internally displaced persons are not left out. They are also whining and dining with the little they've got. All they want is for the federal government to come to their aid, particularly when it has to do with health care assistance. From IDP come to the nation's capital, Grace Ike, Silverbird News 24.